Om Shanti, welcome back. We are here with 12th of September's Godly Blessing. Now, how does it feel when you think of something as yours and something happens to it? And how do you feel when you think of something as not yours, but you are taking care of it as a trustee? And if something happens to it, how do you feel? Right? There's a sense of detachment in the second case. And that's what we're going to see over here. So, Prime Father says, may you be tireless. That means you don't feel tired at all. And remain double light while fulfilling your responsibilities as a trustee. Now, if you think of this whole world, if you think of this physical body also, if you think of this house, if you think of things around us, everything around us is temporary, including us in this body. So, we being immortal souls in this mortal body and the things around us are also physically ever-changing. So, we are actually trustees. We are just taking care of things which have been given to us by God and we are playing the role by using the things given to us by God. Because everything belongs to God over here. Nothing is ours. We are just like a traveler who has come into a hotel and we cannot claim anything in the hotel to be ours, right? And that's what the world is all about. So, God says, those who fulfill the responsibilities of service while fulfilling their worldly responsibilities receive double benefit. That means you are taking care of worldly responsibilities at the same time you are doing service through your thoughts, through your words, through your actions. That means spiritual service. They get double benefit. When you have double the responsibility, you have double the attainment. Because your wisdom increases, your growth happens, you become more... Uh, wise, you become more worldly wise, you become someone who has got a wide spectrum of thinking or you can have a visionary thinking, you can see things beyond also. God says, however, while having double the responsibility, that means you're taking care of your household or you're taking care of your job at the same time you're doing service, worldly service, that means spiritual service, in order to remain double light, look after your responsibilities while considering yourself to be a trustee. And you will not feel tired. But if you think of everything to be ours, let's say, that's what God says in the next sentence, those who consider their households and their families to be theirs, that means if they are mine, then I have to be very concerned about them. I have to be thinking about them every time. If something wrong, I hope something doesn't happen to them bad or something wrong doesn't happen to them. And I have to be always be on my toes not to make them feel offended, not to disturb them, then it becomes like a burden. So God says, those who consider their households and their families to be theirs, experience those to be a burden. <clears throat> because they have to take care of it. They have to take care of it or they have to worry about it while taking care of it. Whereas a trustee does take care of things, does take care of his family, does take care of the spiritual service which a trustee is doing, but is not burdened by it, is not worried about it. <coughs> so it's simply, whatever is going to happen, is going to happen for the best. If things get delayed, they are, they are happening for the best. If things are happening quickly, they are also happening for the best. So that's what a trustee would think about. Whereas if he thinks of it as his own, then there will be questions. Why didn't it happen on time? Why didn't you do it on right time? Why did you delay it? Why didn't you come on time? What is happening? I have told you to do some things and you are not able to do it. Why aren't you fast enough? And that's what the complaint comes in then. And then the complete atmosphere becomes bad. And then the burden increases. Whereas the trustee will not be questioning so many things. The trustee will be like, okay, fine. You can't do it today? You can do it tomorrow. He will not be in a hurry. Whereas somebody who is thinking of the work or the job as his own will be like, I want it my way. It should be done this way. It should be done that way. So they are not yours and so where is there a burden? So they are not yours. The household is not yours. Family is not yours. You are just taking care of it. You are just playing the role of a father or a mother or a brother or a sister. But nothing is yours. That means they don't belong to you. Things can be taken away in a second from us. One earthquake is taken away. So whatsoever we are calling it as ours should be permanent, right? That's why it is not ours. It's, none of it is permanent. So, that's why I don't take the burden. That's what God says. <clears throat> now, this is an attitude which we learn in Brahma Kumaris. You too can come and learn this beautiful attitude so that you are not getting burdened while taking care of your work and taking care of your families. You are working as a trustee in both things. In your workplace also as a trustee. In your household also as a trustee. And that's the best place to be in. 
ओम शांति विदेश